Welcome to another episode of Project America. This is a uh, comparison video of Kratky lettuce growing indoors under a grow light versus uh, growing outdoors. And last year I grew um, the same variety of lettuce outdoors and I had great results but it wasn't, you know, I wasn't blown away uh, by the growth rate. But the, the two varieties of lettuce I chose were uh, Black Seeded Simpson and Redina. And they didn't really like full sun at all. Uh, you know, most lettuce this loose leaf lettuce like this can't really tolerate uh, full sun but it definitely didn't like the sun and the heat here in the south so it grew in the shade but I, I got great results I grew a bunch of it so we we had plenty of lettuce to eat uh, all year all summer long but it wasn't anything amazing like you watch videos on hydroponics here on YouTube and you're like oh my god look at that growth it's crazy but most of those videos that get this crazy growth um, you know, there's a lot of underlying reasons why, uh, like they just have the perfect variety of lettuce for outdoors or they're in a greenhouse, um, you know, like some channels grow. So uh, results always vary. But anyways, I thought it'd be interesting as I start some seed starts this year to do a comparison of under the grow light versus outdoors. And uh, I was pretty blown away with the results. I knew it was going to be radically different, but I didn't know it was going to be this different. Um, and I was totally amazed, which kind of uh, now I'm probably going to switch because I was, I was doing seed starts to grow outside, but I'm probably going to build a whole new indoor setup and just grow on their lights. Uh, and we'll talk about the cost of this in another video because I don't want to keep this too long. But anyways, um, like I said, this is um, black seeded Simpson lettuce and we'll get a close up with the light on. I just got to keep the light off while I'm filming. And uh, the Redina lettuce and um, both are very tasty. I like the black seeded Simpson because it's got a it's got a bumpy texture to it, so it really holds on to salad dressings well. Same with the Redina. The Redina has this nice green and red color, so it adds some color to your salads. Uh, and I really like these varieties. And of course, you know, seed packets are like 500 seeds in each, so I'll be growing this for quite a while since I have plenty of seeds. But anyways, um, I started under I do my seed start under this two foot uh, grow light which I know is a little overkill, but anyways, this is a Sunblaze 24. It's a four bulb, uh, 24 watts per bulb, 8,000 total lumens, and I run it for 12 hours a day on these plants. And then Kratky Method Hydroponics, if you're not familiar with it, Kratky, just, there's no circulation, there's no air pumps, there's no nothing. You just mix up your nutrients in a bucket, you get your seeds started, and then once the roots get down into the nutrients, you leave just a little gap between your, the bottom of your net cup and um, the roots for some air and the plant will grow some oxygen collecting roots therefore that's why you don't need a pump i've seen people make these videos where they have the air stone in here you don't need it okay these have never had it and look at them they're beautiful so anyways let's take a look at the pictures of the um the progress of the indoor under the lights uh lettuce now you can see here uh 226 is when the um the seedlings came up and they're starting to get pretty good size. I think I planted on them about a week before this. But anyways, you can see here on 226, the, the left um, first and second row of the lettuce, the, that right row is basil. And then on 3-1, uh, you can see that now the plants are getting some good size. The roots are almost going all the way through the rock wool. And you don't want to transfer them into the buckets until you have roots coming out of the bottom of the rock wool cubes. Uh, and then uh, I didn't get a picture of it, but on 3-7 is when I actually moved the uh, plants into the bucket system. And I took four plants over to my girlfriend's to grow outdoors. And then four plants uh, went in a bucket and under the grow light. And then you can see on 3-14, the plants are pretty good size. That, that's a rock wool cube in the middle there. That rock wool cube is approximately one inch uh, uh, inch and a half tall, inch and a half wide. Uh, you can see the plants are doing pretty good. And then on um, 321 is the great picture. You can see the rock wool cube still in there. The plants are big. They're looking beautiful. And like the picture says, they are growing uh, Botanicare Grow formula at 600 parts per million. pH is about five, which was a tad low, but I just left it. Uh, the tap, this tap water in my town, that's how it came out when I added the nutrients. It had a pH of 5. I was like, close enough, let's leave it. And then you can see the, um, the sun blaze, 8,000 lumen lights, 12 hours a day. And that is the, um, the growth right there. 
And now in this video, I'm, I'm actually filming, filming it on the 25th, so when we do the close-up, you're going to see the plants are a little bit bigger. Now let's take a look at the outdoor plants. On 3-7, I moved these to my girlfriend's house, and they grow in, out on our porch in partial shade. Um, the, you know, the sun comes up, and they get, a, they get a few hours, maybe three or four hours of sunlight going by them. And this picture was taken on 321 also. Uh, and look at the difference in the size of the plants. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, these are smaller than my pictures back on 314. These are growing outdoors. We've had a couple chilly nights down in the, the, the mid 40s. Um, I've left these plants out at 40 degrees and they survived just fine. But look at the difference in the growth. Absolutely incredible. All right, here's a little close up. As you can see, this stuff is looking pretty good. Nice and full. It's actually way too crowded for this bucket. Uh, I did four plants per bucket outdoors just because they were a little more straggly. And this one's already filled up. You can see this Rodina. This Rodina is beautiful. Beautiful lettuce. It tastes great. It makes your salads look beautiful. And like I said, I like this Black Seeded Simpson because the leaves are a little rough. So it holds salad dressing very well. Just really pleased with these results. Definitely time to trim this up and have a fresh salad. And then, of course, over here, I'll show these real quick. This is some basil. These are also the exact same age as lettuce. They're about a month old. Um, they're doing okay. They need to be, these big leaves need to come off. This one's actually two plants in one. Um, they definitely need to be trimmed so they'll bush out a little more. But not bad. It's not the best looking basil I've ever grown. But for just taking a shot at it uh, real quick without putting a lot of effort into it, definitely looks good. As you can see, no pumps, no nothing. Just grows in plastic buckets.